I recently had someone email me asking me how to change a specific part of a pre-made asset like this. Now this can really work for just about any asset that's made that has an alpha background. And by that, I mean that there is legitimately an alpha background. So if I was to just grab this and put it underneath, we can see that we actually have an alpha that's poking through. Uh, and this would work with the newer versions of DaVinci Resolve because this particular uh, element we have this easy button of going into Fusion. So let me quickly show you. So the question that I was asked is how do I make these bars individual colors? Now, when I was initially thinking of building this pack, I could have made it so that each bar was a different color, uh, but you know, you kind of learn <laughs> as you go uh, what people needs and everyone's needs are a little bit differently. So how do we deal with this after the fact of it, you know, you going online and downloading something like this, or you already have something made and you need to quickly adjust some colors for a customer or client of your of a project. So we simply just click on the little button to go into Fusion. Once we're in Fusion, we can see our little bar chart here. I'm just gonna simply just grab a background. And because we have an alpha, uh, by default, this is gonna work right out of the gate. So if you go right into the background and view the background, everything is black. And by default, if we were to come over here, we can see that the channel that it's going to use as the mask is alpha. Now we could change this to be the red channel, the green channel, blue channel, or we could do luminance saturation. For you know this situation, this works perfectly fine. Now you might say, well, everything's black. Well, we can come over and we can change this. So let's make a bar that's going to be blue. So now we have the blue and we also want to have all of the other colors that we previously had because we maybe the font we want to keep its color and we don't want everything blue. So all we would really do is just go from here. We're going to come out of the output and go right into the output of the uh, bar chart that I have, which will then merge everything. And if we take a look at it, we still see everything here, but this is where the magic comes in because we have all this stuff going in as the foreground. And this control, if you've ever used a merge, all the controls here are for how we're going to apply the foreground on top of the background. So whatever the background is. So this is the background and then this is the foreground. And currently it's just applying everything. Well, all we would have to do is just take this mask, go right in, and then if we look on the mask, we can just make this a little smaller and then we could get an individual bar and make it blue. If you wanted to do a different color, we could just grab another background, bring it right over, drop it down as well, grab another mask, connect it up. And now if we view this, we can say, okay, we want whatever bar, maybe this end bar to be red. So then simply add it in. And easy as that. Now, as you can see, we have all of the animations are preserved still because it's just using the alpha channel to build those lines up. It's easy as that. Now, all we would have to do is come back over to the edit page and now we have everything the same way, but now we have a blue bar and a red bar. So this is an easy way to uh, just change the color on an already uh, pre-made asset when you need to get something in and out quick. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Uh, if you haven't seen on the website, there is a new pro membership. There will be a lot of uh, tutorials similarly to this one, but uh, the more in-depth tutorials are actually going to have the project files and then any macros and stuff like that that we make. There currently are some up there for like the subscribe button and learning how to actually make your own titles from start to finish, everything from coming up with the idea, going into Fusion, creating it, making animations, how to make the dynamic animations, and then once we're done making everything, then how do we actually turn it into a macro file, which then uh, we can then put onto the edit page to use in the future to speed up our workflow when we're adding titles to our projects. So I hope you take a look at that. Um, there's also some stuff on there like pre-made assets, like different uh, title or template packs, as well as LUTs and stuff like that. Uh, more to come, but um, it's the beginnings of it. I hope you guys uh, take a look at it. You know, if there are any things that you would like to see on there, you can shoot me an email and I, you know, take a look at it. And if it's something that is feasible for me to actually create and throw up there, I definitely will. The more, you know, information that I get from everyone else on things that they would like to learn or they would like to see, uh, you know, pre-made assets, it's definitely something that I am going to be uh, devoting a bit more time to. Uh, if you have any other questions, just shoot them my way. You can do it on Twitter. Uh, you can also go to the website in the contact section, submit it there. 
and uh, look forward to hearing from you guys. And uh, there will be a lot more tutorials on the YouTube channel as well as in the pro membership. So thanks for hanging out with me, spend some time. Hope you guys learned something in this one until the next one. Stay safe. Have a good one. My name's JR. Peace.